Hispanic American Heritage Month by Lynn Hefley. Directions. Listen to the biography of the exceptional Hispanic American athlete. Pause the video. Perform the exercise that corresponds with the athlete's outstanding accomplishments. Then restart the video. Rebecca Lobo was born in Hartford, Connecticut to a father of Cuban descent and a mother of German-Irish descent. She grew up in a basketball family. Her father was a basketball coach and both her brother and sister played collegiate basketball. Lobo, at six foot four inches tall, held the Massachusetts State High School scoring record for 18 years with 2,740 points during her career. She was recruited by 100 colleges and chose the University of Connecticut. She was part of the national championship team that went undefeated with 35 wins and zero losses. For her part, she was awarded the Naismith College of the Year Award, the Wade Trophy, the AP Player of the Year, the USBWA Player of the Year, and the Honda Broderick Cup. She was a basketball and an academic All-American. She finished her collegiate career averaging 16.9 points per game, 10.1 rebounds per game, and 396 block shots. Lobo played on the 1996 U.S. Olympic team and began a WNBA career with the New York Liberty in 1997. She retired from basketball in 2003 due to a knee injury. She was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 2010 and the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2017. Rebecca is now a reporter and color analyst for women's basketball on ESPN. She has a broadcast with her husband called the Ball and Chain podcast and is a spokesperson for breast cancer research as well as for other health related issues. Carmelo Anthony's Puerto Rican father died when he was only two years old of liver failure. At the age of nine years old, his mother moved with her four children to an area of Baltimore known as the pharmacy. Growing up in a crime and drug filled neighborhood was difficult. Anthony began focusing on his basketball game after being cut from the freshman high school team. This determination and a five inch growth spurt led to a litany of awards and college recruiters. Anthony chose Syracuse University. He led the team as a freshman to the NCAA championship title and earned the most valuable player of the tournament award. He also set a tournament record of most field goals by a freshman at 33 points. Following his freshman year, he entered the NBA draft and signed with the Denver Nuggets. In 2007, he tied the NBA single quarter scoring record at 33 points. He was traded to the New York Knicks in 2011 and set the franchise scoring record with a career high 62 points. He has been traded to Oklahoma City, Houston, and Portland since leaving the Knicks in 2017. Anthony has been named to the NBA first team all-star team 10 times has won the NBA Social Justice Award and was the NBA scoring champion in 2013. He has three Olympic gold medals and a bronze. Nicknamed the human emoji for her exuberant facial expressions, Laurie Hernandez is one of only five Latinas to compete as a women's gymnast in the Olympic Games since 1936. Born to Puerto Rican parents and raised in New Jersey, Hernandez began her gymnastics training at the age of six and was attending USA development camps by the age of nine. In the three years she competed as a junior, she won 18 gold medals, 10 silver, and 10 bronze. In 2016, Hernandez began competing in the senior division. She quickly rose in the rankings earning four gold, two silver, and six bronze medals, which ultimately earned her a spot on the 2016 Olympics team. The team, known as the Final Five, 
won the gold medal in the team competition and Hernandez won a silver medal in the individual balance beam event. Hernandez took a two-year hiatus from gymnastics, during which time she won the mirror ball in Dancing with the Stars. She returned to gymnastics in 2018, but sustained a knee injury in the 2021 World Championships and did not qualify for the Tokyo Olympic Trials. As of this publishing of this book, September 2021, Hernandez is performing with other exceptional female athletes in the Gold Over America Tour. Tony Gonzalez was raised by his mother and attended school in Huntington Beach, California. His parents are of a very mixed heritage, including descendants from Jamaica, Scotland, Africa, Argentina, Europe, and Native America. In high school, Gonzalez excelled in both football and basketball. He chose to attend the University of California at Berkeley and continued playing both sports. At the end of his junior year, he entered the NFL draft and was chosen in the first round by the Kansas City Chiefs. Gonzalez played tight end for 17 seasons on two teams, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons. His final stats include 1,325 receptions, 15,127 receiving yards, and 111 touchdowns. He played in 270 games over the 17 years and only missed one. He was a six-time first All-Pro and four-time second-team All-Pro. He played in 14 Pro Bowls. In 2004, he led the league in receptions. He is a member of the NFL 2000's All-Decade Team. The NFL 100th Anniversary All-Time Team and is a member of the Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame and the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Outside of football, Gonzalez has numerous health and fitness related endeavors, including the All Pro Diet Book, the All Pro Science Sports Nutrition Company, and the FitStar mobile fitness app. He has worked as a sports analyst and acted in several movies and TV series. He is an ambassador for the Scholars Hope Foundation, an after school academic enrichment program. Born to a father of Cuban origin and raised in Los Angeles, California, Dana Torres left home her junior year of high school to train for her first Olympic Games in swimming. She returned home to finish high school her senior year after the 1984 Olympics. In those games, she won a gold medal in the 4x100 women's freestyle relay. In the 1988 Olympics, she won a bronze in the same event and a silver in the 4 by 100 meter women's medley. She then left competitive swimming for seven years before returning to the sport for the Sydney Olympics in 2000. She was the oldest competitor on the team at the age of 33, but won the most medals. Three individual bronze medals in the 50 meter freestyle, 100 meter butterfly, and 100 meter freestyle, as well as two team gold medals in the 4 by 100 meter freestyle and the 4 by 100 meter medley for a total of five medals. Torres left the sport again only to return for a second comeback in 2007 at the age of 40, just 16 months after giving birth. In the 2008 Beijing, Beijing Olympics, she became the oldest swimmer, male or female, to earn a medal by taking home a silver in the 4x100 women's freestyle event. Torres retired from swimming in 2012 after 24 years and five Olympics. She set the world record in the 50 meter freestyle on three different occasions and was part of three team relay world records. Outside of swimming, Torres was a TV reporter, model, author, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Claudio Reyna was born in Livingston, New Jersey. 
His father, Mario Reina, was a professional soccer player in Argentina before immigrating to the United States in 1968. Reina grew up playing soccer with his father as his coach. His high school team went undefeated during the three years he attended with a record of 65 and 0. He was the only two-time Parade National Player of the Year, as well as a Gatorade Player of the Year. Reina attended the University of Virginia. During his time there, the team won three NCAA championships. For his efforts, Reina won the Herman Trophy, the Mack Award, and was the 1992 and 93 Soccer America Player of the Year. Soccer America also named him the Male Player of the Century in the year 2000. He represented the United States in the Barcelona and the Atlanta Olympic Games. In 1994, Reina began playing internationally, beginning in Germany. He became the first American to captain a European soccer club. His international career featured 282 appearances with six teams scoring 23 goals. For the United States national team, Reina had 112 appearances and eight goals. He played in three FIFA World Cup matches and became one of only three Americans to be selected for the World Cup All-Tournament team. His nickname was Captain America. In retirement, Reina manages the Claudio Reina Foundation to provide soccer training and mentoring to the underprivileged. He was elected to the National Soccer Hall of Fame in 2012. Lisa Fernandez is a former American softball player born to a Cuban immigrant father and a mother of Puerto Rican descent. Raised in Long Beach, California, she was once told by a coach that she would never succeed as a pitcher because she didn't have the right body frame. She would prove that coach wrong. Fernandez attended UCLA and graduated with a degree in psychology. During her collegiate years, she was the Pac-12 Player of the Year three times and the four-time winner of the Honda Sports Award for softball. She also became the first softball player to win the Honda Broderick Cup, which is given to the best female collegiate athlete in any sport. Fernandez was a four-time first-team All-American, and UCLA won two national championships during her tenure. Fernandez played in three consecutive Olympic Games beginning in 1996. She has the record for the most Olympic strikeouts with 25 and pitched in three gold medal winning games. She was inducted into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame in 2012 and is currently an assistant softball coach for UCLA. Roberto Clemente was born the youngest of seven children in Carolina, Puerto Rico. He originally dreamed of being an Olympic track and field athlete before turning to baseball in high school. He began playing professionally in the Puerto Rican Professional Baseball League at the age of 18 before signing with the Brooklyn Dodgers Triple A team. In 1955, Clemente was drafted into the major leagues by the Pittsburgh Pirates. During his career, he hit 240 home runs. His most famous was in 1956 against the Chicago Cubs. Down five to eight in the bottom of the ninth, Clemente hit an in-the-park home run with bases loaded. It is the only walk-off inside the park grand slam in modern day Major League Baseball history. He was the first Latin American baseball player to accumulate 3,000 hits. He led the National League in batting four times, played in 15 All-Star games, was the National League MVP and the World Series MVP. He won 12 Golden Glove Awards and was part of two World Series championship teams. Off the diamond, Clemente spent a considerable amount of time doing charity work. In December of 1972, when the capital of Nicaragua was devastated by an earthquake, he organized emergency relief flights to bring aid to the area. He accompanied the final flight. Tragically, the plane crashed into the ocean, killing all on board. The Pirates retired his jersey and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame the following year, becoming the first Latino to do so. Additionally, the Commissioner's Award, given every year to a player with outstanding baseball playing skills who is personally involved in community work, was renamed the Roberto Clemente Award 
in his honor. Nancy Lopez was raised in New Mexico by Mexican-American parents and began playing golf at the age of eight. She won the New Mexico Women's Amateur Golf Tournament at the age of 12. Lopez played high school golf on the boys team and earned a scholarship to the University of Tulsa. She was named the Female Athlete of the Year and was an All-American at Tulsa before leaving after her sophomore year to play professionally. In her first full year in the LPGA, Lopez won nine tournaments with a record number of five of them in a row. In her second year, she won eight tournaments and became the youngest player to have 10 career wins. She also became the first woman to win the Rookie of the Year, followed by the Player of the Year, as well as the Vare Trophy in the same season. Lopez finished her career with 48 LPGA wins. Throughout her career, she was a four-time Player of the Year, three-time Vare Trophy winner, three-time Tour Money winner, and three-time GWAA Player of the Year. Other honors include the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year two times, LPGA William and Mousy Powell Award, the Flo Hyman Memorial Award, the USGA Bob Jones Award, and the Old Tom Morris Award. She was inducted into the Golf Hall of Fame in 1987. In retirement, she created her own line of golf apparel and equipment and hosts charity golf events. Born one of seven children to a poor family in Puerto Rico, Chichi Rodriguez was working as a water carrier on a sugar plantation at the age of seven. One day, he wandered onto a golf course and saw that caddies were making more money than he was, so he learned to be a caddy. He taught himself how to play golf using a stick from a guava tree. At the age of 12, he played a round of golf in just 67 strokes. Rodriguez joined the U.S. Army and played on courses during his breaks to perfect his game. He turned pro at the age of 28 years old. He was known as a jokester and he would perform a sword dance with his club after a birdie or an eagle. During his professional career, he won eight PGA tournaments. He moved to the PGA Champion Tour as a senior and won another 22 matches. He was the first golfer to win the same senior tournament three years in a row. He also set a record for the most consecutive birdies with eight in a row to win the Silver Pages Classic. His honors include the Hispanic Recognition Award, the Replicas Hispanic Man of the Year Award, the Bob Jones Award, which is the highest honor in the U.S. Golf Association in recognition of sportsmanship, and the old Tom Morris Award, the GSAA Highest Honor. He was the first Puerto Rican inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame. He is also well known for his children's charities. Born in the Dominican Republic to a Cuban mother and a Spanish father, Mary Jo Fernandez was raised in Miami, Florida. She excelled at tennis at a young age, winning the Orange Bowl, a prestigious junior tennis tournament, four straight times. In 1985, she became the youngest player to win a main draw match at the U.S. Open. She was just 14 years and eight days old. She turned professional a year later. Over her career, her singles record was 437 wins and 203 losses. She played in three Grand Slam finals, the Australian and the French Opens, and won a bronze medal in the Olympics. Her doubles career finished at 344 wins and 141 losses. Of these wins, two were Grand Slam events, the French and Australian Open. She won two doubles gold medals in the 1992 and 1996 Olympics. She was part of the United States gold win winning Fed Cup in 1996 and went on to be named the coach of that team. She held that position until 2016. Fernandez now acts as a tennis analyst for ESPN Sports. Nicknamed the Golden Boy of Boxing 
Oscar de la Hoya was born in Los Angeles, California, just after his parents emigrated from Mexico. His grandfather, father, and brother were all boxers, and he excelled at the sport from a young age. At 15 years old, he won the Junior Olympics in the 119-pound weight class and was the youngest boxer to win a gold medal in the Goodwill Games at age 19. In his amateur career, he amassed an astounding 234 wins and only six losses. In 1990, his mother died with a final wish that Oscar would win a gold medal at the Olympic Games. At the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, he fulfilled her dream before turning to professional boxing later that same year. The Golden Boy proceeded to win 10 world titles in five different weight classes, a record at the youngest age of 28. During his professional career, he helped bring in hundreds of millions of dollars in pay-per-view revenue before retiring in 2009. Outside of boxing, De La Hoya is featured on several gaming covers, released an album, has a children's book named after him, an autobiography titled American Son, My Story, and has a line of active wear apparel. His company named Golden Boy Enterprises focuses on urban development for Latino communities and owns a magazine publishing company. He also has a charitable foundation to help educate the underprivileged. He was named Promoter of the Year by Sports Illustrated and competed in The Masked Singer.